Hello and welcome back to video two, um, looking at topic 10, Boolean logic, this time featuring Boolean statements. This is for the IGCSE and O-level in computer science. So we're right at the bottom, topic 10, uh, but this time we're moving on to part two, where, as I said before, we're looking at logic expressions, uh, Boolean logic expressions. Um, we're tackling a given problem and we will do a little bit on truth tables. Okay, just to recap, last time we looked at the six most common logic gates. These being the NOT gate, and there's a symbol for it, the AND gate, the OR gate, the NAND gate, the NOR gate, and the XOR gate. And we understood a little bit about what each of these did in terms of when you put them into a logic circuit. As you can see, just to recap, the NOR, the NAND, and the NOT all have a little circle at the front of them, which signifies NOT not and, not or, and simply the not gate. We also looked at Boolean expressions for each of these where the line represented not, the dot in between represents and, and the plus sign represents the or, which is a little bit strange, but if you look at it that way, and then these are sort of combined ones of those, the nand, the nor, and the xor. We're gonna take a logic statement, that's this thing here, and we're going to turn this into a logic circuit. Now what I've got, x equals 1, so x is on, if a is on, represented by a 1, see here, and, and gate, b equals not 1. So that's got a not gate before it gets to the and. Or, b is on, b is 1, and c is not on, or not 1. Okay, so this equates to part one of, of our logic circuit, which you'll see. Then we've got something in between to connect them both together. Yeah, this or this, and then we've got part three, part C. So let's have a little look at this. But before we do that, I just want to mention Boolean statements. So this is using the things we learned from those, um, those Boolean symbols for each of the gates and turning this statement into sort of shorthand, a shorter version by using those symbols. So here we go, A and not B, or B and not C. So we've just taken this and written it in a shorter version. Okay, so we've got the statement. We're gonna break it down into three parts. So the first part, part one, is gonna be this. So let's have a little look at this. A is on and B is not on. So although they maybe both start at 1, both input values are turned on, when it before it gets to the AND gate, we've put a NOT in between, so B is not 1. B is off. Or, we'll come to later, B, in this case, is going into another AND gate, so B is on, going into the AND gate, and C is not on, going into the AND gate. Okay, so we've got two parts of the circuit, now we need part three. So if we go here, as you can see, we've added an OR gate to connect them both together. So the OR gate's coming from each of the AND gates in part one and in part two. And that's how we draw from a logic statement or a Boolean expression, how we would create our logic circuit. Okay, so we're gonna have a little practice at this and we're going to use a piece of software called Logic LY, or in particular, Logic LY demo. So I've placed both these statements in um, Logic LY, uh, which in fact it's Logic LY um, slash demo, as you can see at the top here. Um, so first of all, we'll, we'll start with this first one. Um, but what I'm going to do, we can see we've got A and B. So there's two inputs. So I'm going to put, using this software here, I'm going to put a switch to represent um, switch A, input A, and I'm gonna put another switch to represent B, okay? And then, at the other end, to represent a output, I'm just gonna put a light bulb, okay? So, we've got, as we showed in the demo, we've got an OR gate first of all, going into the end. It's gone red because there's nothing connected to it at the moment. 
So we need another OR gate here, and we need an, an AND gate here. So let's put those two things in. So another OR gate. I'm going to have to move some things around a little bit. Let me grab those. Move them around. So we've got A and B. We've got an OR gate, which I'm going to put up here. And we've got an AND gate, which I'm going to put down here. Okay, I'm going to connect those two together, like so. But then A is 1. Okay, fair enough. Um, or B is 1. Okay, that's fine. But here we've got or A is, n is not and B is on. So B again can go to that. That's fine, but here we need a NOT gate, and that's coming from A and going down to B. Okay, so now when I switch this one on, it comes on. If I switch them both on, it stays on. If I switch this one off and this one off, as you can see there, they've both come off. So, so that is how we do a circuit in Logic LY. What I can do with this as well, which is quite nice, I'm just going to move it out of the way a little bit. Just bring it over here. Because what we can do, we've selected everything now. I've gone over the top of it and selected everything. I can click on this truth table and it shows me that I've got if they're both off, it's going to be off. If we've got a false and a true, it's going to be true. If we've got a false and a true, it's true. And if we've got a true and a true, it's going to be true. So it's basically the same. This circuit here is basically the same as just one single OR gate. Okay. So let's bring that back down. And let's try this next one. So again, I need a light bulb. But this time we've got three inputs. We've got A, B and C. So let's get some switches. I'll pop this one down here. Another one of those. Just to make it a little bit different, I'm just going to use a push button switch at the bottom and see what happens. Okay, so this time we've got an, an AND gate in the middle. So grab an AND gate and put that close to the light bulb. And now we've got B or C. So B and C down here. So let's put an OR gate in there. Okay, connect that up to there, and then A and, and B, so we need another AND gate, like so, and connect that one up. Now here, both A and B are off, so I'm going to grab another NOT gate, and another NOT gate, and I'm going to connect those like so. And like so. So A is off or not and and B is a not gate. Like so. But now B, we need another not gate. I suppose what we could do is connect it from this one, but I'm I'm gonna connect it like so. So B is not going into the OR gate. Oh hello, we've got some things connected now. And then C is going directly into that OR gate. Okay, so let's turn these so when we've got A's on, it's going to be off, like so, and then if I push this button, they're all off because it's all, because they've both got to be on for it to fulfill, both of these points here have got to be on for it to fulfill the AND gate. So let's turn that one off, and let's turn that one off, and as you can see, that's an opposite there, and that goes there. That shouldn't, yeah, that shouldn't make a difference. Okay, so they, well, there are the two gates done in Logic LY. It's fantastic. It's a great piece of software to get you using and get you building logic circuits. Okay, well, thank you very much indeed. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. 
Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.